Starting a business with 3D printing day two. Hello, today I'm exploring the essential filament types for my 3D printer. But before diving in, I wanna talk about a common issue faced by beginners, the filament spool tangling problem. I'll discuss this in detail at the end of the video, but first let's choose our filament. So what are the differences between PLA, PETG, and ABS? Let's break them down one by one. PLA is one of the most commonly used filament types in the 3D printing world. It's made from natural sources, like cornstarch and sugarcane, making it both eco-friendly and biodegradable. Advantages of PLA, easy to use, environmentally friendly, high surface quality, and affordable. Disadvantages of PLA, low heat resistance, brittleness, and susceptible to moisture. Note, PLA filaments can absorb moisture, so they must be stored in a dry environment. Otherwise, you may experience quality issues during printing. PETG is one of the most widely used polymers today, standing for polyethylene terephthalate glycol. It is a durable and flexible material for 3D printing. Advantages of PETG, strong and flexible, high chemical resistance, easy to print, transparent and glossy surface finishes, high heat resistance. Disadvantages of PETG, prone to stringing during printing, can stick too tightly to the print bed, susceptible to moisture. ABS is known for its durability and is often used for industrial projects. Its strong, lightweight, and impact-resistant nature makes it suitable for a wide range of applications, from toys to car parts. Advantages of ABS, high heat resistance, durability, workability, can be sanded, drilled, etc. Flexibility. Disadvantages of ABS, difficult to print, requires a closed printer for better results, emits unpleasant and toxic fumes during printing, not environmentally friendly. After learning about the different filament types, I've decided that PLA is the most suitable option for my needs, and I've placed my first order. As I mentioned earlier, let's talk about the filament spool tangling issue. When attaching or removing filament from the printer, it's crucial to avoid losing the filament end. If the end is released, knots may form inside the spool. If this happens, unwind the spool carefully until the tangles are gone. Rewind the filament onto the spool carefully. This simple process can help solve the issue. For beginners, these small details can be frustrating, but taking precautions can minimize these problems. In the next episode, we'll explore slicing software and find the best and most user-friendly option for our work. If you've watched this far, don't forget to like and leave a comment.